Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be working on the charger, but before I go work on the charger, I actually just got a brand new GoPro Hero 9. And the reason I got the Hero 9 was because it was on sale, but something I did before I actually use it. So a couple of weeks ago, maybe a month ago, I got the Hero 8. And uh, you can see that the, the lens, I could clean it up. There's a fingerprint on there, but there's a few little light burn marks. So when I'm recording stuff, it's very hard. I have a dedicated camera for grinding because the lens just gets destroyed. Um, you know, the lenses I don't think are made out of glass or maybe they're not made out of that hard of a glass or something like that. I'm not exactly sure what they're made out of, but they don't like sparks hitting them. They get discolored, they get pitted. It's just kind of a nightmare. So what I ended up doing, since I did get the Hero 9, I didn't want the lens to get ruined. Um, this one isn't that bad. I got these kits. I'll put a link in the description. It's just a, uh, you know, that hard glass that you have on phone cases, kind of like that. It's, uh, it's a glass for the front lens. Um, they only had ones for Hero 8, so they probably have one coming out with the lens to cover this screen, but it also has a lens for the back. So I applied those. They're not very hard to do. All you do is clean the surface with the first step, then the second step, then you just drop the piece of glass on there. It lays out really nice, and uh, on both sides, we'll get this done really quick. finished installing the glass protection on my Hero 8 and my Hero 9. And as you could see, once you dropped it on there, it just laid out. As long as it's clean, it'll just lay out really, it looks like a, when you drop something in a puddle. It just, you know, pretty much goes from the center out and you don't have any issues. But if you get any bubbles or anything under these, it's gonna be very difficult. But now you can see how nice and smooth and protected. And it almost, you know, even though that lens had a little few pits from grinding and everything, now that it has that protector over it, I think it kind of leveled it out and you won't be able to see those pits anymore. So now I shouldn't have to worry anymore about these cameras getting messed up, um, especially the lenses, because I am doing a lot of really um, dangerous stuff for cameras. So that's why I don't use my big camera that I'm filming with now but uh, I just updated my new Hero 9, so I'm gonna head down to the junkyard. I want to actually grab the, uh, the wide body front bumper, rear bumper, all those wide body body panels, the hood, and uh, then I could go down to the body shop. I'm dropping all the parts off at home. I just didn't want any of them to end up getting damaged. I'm grinding, cutting stuff down here. Um, you know, I don't want to throw them in the car. I don't want the bumpers to get scratched. If the bumpers get scratched, I have to reseal them. Um, you know, if they stay how they are, all I have to do is scuff them and then base them and clear them. So I just opted out of bringing all the stuff down here. I'll bring it down here as I need to. But what I'm going to do today and what I'm going to do now is actually start welding on the quarter panels. I do have the quarter panel on the front tacked on this side, but I need to actually tack it on the, uh, the taillight bucket as well as on the top. And the passenger side quarter panel isn't done at all. So I'm going to work on that, 
get that all buttoned up and then just kind of go from there. Uh, once I know everything lines up, once I fit the trunk, all that stuff lines up, the lights are perfect, then I'll run plug welds through the rest of the stuff and then we'll be one step closer and I'll run some welds on the top in between the Magnum hatch sheet metal and the charger core panel sheet metal. Driver's side quarter panel, 100% tacked on. Everything is good to go. Up here, it's nice and tacked. You can see how nice that butts up together. It just is nice and flush. I mean, it is perfect. I can't believe that it ended up being like that, but it's just really nice that it was. So what I'm gonna do is I have the driver's side all the way tacked on. You can see the, the line right there, the gap in between the tail and the quarter panel is just spot on, as well as the, uh, the doors and the fender gaps on this side are 100% just lined up. I started tacking on the quarter panel and then I lined up this tail light just to make sure everything was gonna work how it should and that this right here is what I'm really going for. You can see how nice and smooth that transition between the tail light and the quarter panel is. That's what I want. I want it to be very even on both sides. You can see on this side as well, it just, Lows with the car and when these come from the factory they're not that good so um, and usually they're not equal what i found out when i went to the dealership i looked again the driver and the passenger side gaps are different so the passenger side is tighter than the driver's side so what i ended up doing was actually elongating these two holes on the fender moving the fender forward i noticed the fender wasn't actually even so i made both fenders even now they're both the same now all the gaps are equal on both sides they both look the same and we are good with gaps our side quarter panel is now 100 percent welded in and i must say this thing gets so rigid once it's welded in from how flimsy it is off the car so 
Now that that is welded in, I need to pretty much come back here, trim this, weld this part of the quarter panel to the, bot or the, to the bottom part of the Magnum sheet metal, and then just kind of go around as well as this back here. But I'm gonna wait to do that. The tail light bucket is welded in. I uh, did the plug welds, ground them down because the tail light fits in there. Um, and then you could see the bottoms of the plugs. So I just wanted to be nice and smooth like it would be with a spot weld. And then when the tail lights in there, the gap is just really nice. Also, another thing, I'm gonna throw some spot welds or plug welds on the bottom of these just to make it a little bit more rigid. So I'll probably put three down there. Then in here, I cut the piece off the charger quarter panel, got that all welded in. I need to grind this down right here, but that is all nice and good to go, ready for, um, ready for some high build primer as well up here. I need to blend this in to these three pieces. And then up here we have the, uh, the roof rails the beginning of them so i need to put a flange on the bottom of these i can weld all this together and i'll probably end up welding i might tack this in in this video uh, both sides have the roof rails uh, the sheet metal made it just needs to be flanged tacked in um, up here i'm going to just run some plug welds along it just so it's kind of like the factory and it also has that nice factory ledge so when i make the roof skin it will just uh you know, it'll be like factory, the roof skin will actually lay, lay in there and then I could seam seal it on, uh, on the edge. Instead, um, you know, when they come from the factory, they're metal, they're brazed, but the, the seam sealer should be fine. And then I'll panel bond it up here because it's gonna be composite, panel bond it back there. And I'll probably just put some sheet metal screws in the front of it just to hold it down and then the window will go over it. But this thing is coming together really nice. And what I'm gonna do in the next video is actually weld the whole other side and then we'll weld all the roof rails in and then uh, pretty much try to get all of this welded in and the front welded in and uh, just get it so it's ready for its first skim coat, which it's not gonna need that thick of a skim coat. So if you look at the back of the quarter panel, it did warp a little bit from welding. so. You know, I'll have to adjust the panel. Um, you know, I'll, I'll use a hammer and uh, just kind of make it, if there's any high spots or low spots, I'll pull them up. But I don't want to use a bunch of body filler. So I'll try to keep it under an eighth of an inch. So this up here, this doesn't need much. That's about as much as I want to put on any spot on the whole car.
was able to finish up welding the top of the quarter panel from the charger to the magnum sheet metal so that is 100 percent finished this right here i need to figure out how i'm going to blend that obviously the window for the charger and the 300c are a little bit wider so i need to blend this in and uh, i think everything from that will look very good as long as i cut it up here and then just kind of push it out to this edge and then just kind of blend it into that edge so it'll be a little little piece right here i'm gonna have to make and then probably a little piece up here that's gonna have to be made but uh yeah it's coming together tomorrow it will be welding on the capacitor side these didn't get 100 percent finished still need to put a flange on them as well as weld them in probably spot weld them in first and then make sure everything with the line is going to look correct before i 100 percent weld them in but it's just really nice to have these made have that done getting one step closer to being able to actually primer this thing so if you like these videos make sure to click the subscribe button thumbs up throw a comment below see you guys next time